Hi everyone. Tonight I'll be fixing Philly cheesesteak meatloaf. What all goes into the Philly cheesesteak meatloaf? Two tablespoons butter, one small yellow onion diced. This is the smallest I could find. One small green pepper diced. Eight ounces of brown mushrooms minced. One half teaspoon salt. One half teaspoon fresh ground black pepper. Two pounds lean ground beef, 80-20 or 85-15. And this is 85-15. Two tablespoons ketchup. Two tables of Worcestershire sauce. Two eggs. One cup panko breadcrumbs. And one package, eight ounces of provolone cheese slices. So let's begin. First thing you need to do is preheat the oven to 375. Take a large loaf pan, and I like this one because it uh, drains the grease into the, the bottom so your meatloaf is not all greasy. And spray it with nonstick cooking spray. And set that aside. Take a large skillet, add your two tablespoons of butter, I have my pan on medium-high heat. Add your small onion diced. I used about uh, two-thirds of the onion that I had because it was bigger than small. The small diced green pepper and the eight ounces of mushrooms. It's an awful lot of mushrooms. The half a teaspoon of salt and the half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper and let sit for two minutes before you stir it. Give it a stir. And then let it cook for another one to two minutes before you stir it again. Then stir it again. Shut off the heat and let it set and cool for five minutes. Take a large bowl, put in your two pounds of ground beef. Your two eggs. Your two tablespoons of ketchup your two tablespoons of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, your one cup of panko breadcrumbs, and your cool vegetables. They're not all that cool. And mix up everything together. And I will probably end up mixing these with my hands, but I'm gonna make sure that the vegetables are cool enough before I do that. All right, so I have my clean hands and I am just mixing these up. It's a lot easier to get them totally mixed up when you use your hands. So take half of the meat mixture. I didn't want to use my hands, but I guess I'm going to have to. And put it in the pan. And flatten that out. Then take half of your cheese and put it down the center of your meatloaf. And you can uh, just put it third so that they're not going to go too far to the edge there, which I don't think it really will, but... That looks pretty good. And you put the other half of the meat mixture on top of that. And then you want to round 
the top. And I put my pan on a cookie sheet just in case. Put it in a 375 degree preheated oven for 40 minutes. So it's been 40 minutes. I took the meatloaf out of the oven. Next we take the second half of the cheese and put it on top. and put it back into the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes. So it's been 20 minutes, total of an hour, and I took out the meatloaf. Next, we'll let it rest for 10 minutes before we cut into it. So here is the Philly cheese steak meatloaf. Rounding out the meal is chive butter, roasted potatoes, and a uh, King's Hawaiian Honey Wheat Dinner Roll. It smells really good. What is this? Philly cheese steak meatloaf. Oh, really? That's really good. I like it. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.